Well, this weekend is the last weekend for early voting before the November 8th election. Today at Brainerd High School, the National Panhellenic Council of Chattanooga held their Get Out the Vote rally event. Local 3's Jemiah Beatty is in the studio with more. Cornelia, as midterm elections approach, the chapter is hoping voter turnout among minority voters will increase this year compared to numbers from two years ago. When it comes to voting, they're emphasizing the message, your vote matters. In order to change things that you want to change in your community, to come out and participate and vote. Event organizer Valerie Armstrong says being an active part in the voting process ensures your voice is heard. We hear a lot when we're canvassing in the communities that, oh, my vote doesn't count, so therefore I'm not going to go to the polls and cast my vote, but it does. According to the Hamilton County Election Commission, there were more than 40,000 registered voters during the 2020 elections. Only 7% of those voters were from minority groups within District 28. In other areas within the inner city like Alton Park, Glenwood, and the avondale bushton area, only 8% of black voters cast a ballot. This is the time to cast your vote, to participate in the voting process be able to get individuals in office that really reflect our values of our community. But before you vote, Armstrong says it's important to educate yourself. Understanding who's on the ballot, who's running for office, and we've got some pretty important amendments that's on the ballot as well. The four proposed amendments are topics like the right to work, the process the state should follow if the governor is to leave office, voluntary labor of inmates, and a section removing religious leaders from office. Answering yes will either remove or add the amendment. Answering no will keep the law as written. Early voting in Hamilton County ends this Thursday, November 3rd. The last day to requ request an absentee ballot is Tuesday, November 1st, and election day is November 8th. Reporting live in the studio, Jeremiah Beatty, Local 3 News. Thank you so much.